This is Wyatt's horse rain. He, we looked at her in the summertime and uh, she was just a baby then. He contacted the neighbor that is the breeder through his grandson and kind of said, oh, okay, this fall when we wean, you can buy her. She didn't get weaned. Of course, we had a crazy fall. She stayed out on pasture where the mares stay there every year. Like that's not unusual. And, uh, and then he made a deal with her or made a deal with him about her this winter. And we went and picked her up the other day. And so I said she this is Wyatt's new deal. I call her Butterscotch to tease Wyatt. Ty has a whole bunch of names he calls her. So she's been here for three days. She is getting some barley. And we are halter breaking her. Once she's halter broke and we've dewormed her and vaccinated her, then she will come over with the other horses. We'll keep her here kind of and make sure she's not sick with anything. So she's kind of quarantined, just she doesn't know about coronavirus and that's obviously not our concern. But then she will go, she will get turned out with the main herd so she is across the road at my dad's place away from any other horses so in quarantine and then she'll go and be part of the herd and then when in 2021 summer he'll break her and start using her and he's hoping that he can get her to three or four years old and put lots of miles on her and flip her and make some money so anyhow there's snowflakes falling down we've been nice for a couple of days so of course it's going to start snowing now so i don't know if you pick up any of the snowflakes that are falling but it's not supposed to get above freezing for the next four days and it's supposed to get pretty cool we have one calf i don't think it's ears froze but it's too late for me to change it now because you got to get them in when they're warm or when it's they're still wet and get them warmed up once you get so cold, it doesn't matter anymore. So anyhow, the mother's taking care of it. So anyhow, I thought I'd show you off Wyatt's horse. So, I'll show you some more later. Here's some babies. There's a calf with a star in its head. And that's its mother there. It's been bawling the last hour. So we're not gonna get too worried about it. It's frozen, top and muddy on the bottom, so. Anyhow, we're not gonna worry about that cow, but like, we'll go check it later, and if it hasn't come out, then we'll go and get it out and treat it. I think it's sick. Anyhow, we just have had some nicer weather, where we've been above freezing, but we froze last night and stayed frozen. Ty, why it's gonna show off. Ty's horse is a little cold backed. So, I'll bring you out in a little bit. I'm gonna warm my hand back up and I'll show you some more. I think we got at least one new calf, I think maybe two. Here's our new baby. It's Mother 302. It's standing. It's standing back. The wind is freaking last cold. So, we got one calf to treat. So, we're just checking everything and then we'll go back and rope that calf. I thought that cow might calve last night, but she didn't, so she'll wait till it's too cold out, so we have to bring it in and warm it up. But we'll be putting all new straw out tonight. So I will bring you back. So this is our sick calf. We got it roped. It's held by its feet. It's not stressed. It's not hurting. It's not balling. And the horses are holding the calf. Got my drug bag, so. That's the nice thing about having extra help is you can get these roped down without having to work so hard. So we're gonna let this calf go and get back to checking the rest of things.
And so like Ty just was cueing his horse to keep his head over. I got mine tied to the rope, but she still stepped ahead. I had to back her up a little bit, but horses learn just like us. So that's its mother right there. So let this calf go and get back to work. Just finishing up after being chores. That's the benefit of having three helpers that would normally be at school. And then there's Victoria and Black Beauty. Victoria had to go in the field so that Gray would get weaned and Black Beauty was her friend. So they finally just don't hang out by the other horses all the time. As you see I'm getting muddy out here and like I said it's frozen so every bump you get thrown all over the place but then you cut through and you start sinking. I just had to pull a cow out that was stuck in the mud in the special needs pen, my sick cow that I'm sure has hardware. I had to pull her out of the mud. So she's in the big bull pen now where it's dry and grounds firm. So, but the frost is coming out and so she sunk right down. Wyatt's just going to shut the gate for me and then we'll cross the bog. We're using the power choke to do chores because my truck's in at the mechanics. Have to rebuild the transfer case. But when you drive in four wheel drive every day all winter doing chores and in the mud, you wear that shit out. I'll bring you guys out a little bit later when we're checking cows. It's freaking cold out. I'm gonna go up on the straw. I'm checking this side of the feeders. Why it's over there. And it is a cold whore out. That snow has been coming down. We straw everything, but we'll straw in the morning again. Like I said, we just hope that nothing, nothing calves. Because it is a miserable. And the horses aren't enjoying because they walk on frozen ground, which they don't like. And then they break through into the mud. Anyhow, I'm going to put my glove back on and shut this off. So I'll bring you out a little bit in a few minutes. Anyhow, she's kind of a miserable day and it's not going to get any better tonight. It's going to get colder, but we'll make a longer video with more action in another day. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Take care.